So perhaps some of the other participants, if they're still in the room, would like to come up on the stage or come up close to the stage. And we'll just... Um, John, uh, do you feel like asking a few little questions about sort of conclusions or, or thoughts or if any of our participants have anything that they'd <coughs> like to say and it, it, as, as sort of a thought for the weekend? I mean, uh, the tr yeah, our trust yeah. has been our food, what's the story? So. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, I think... Rory, there was, there, was, there was something you touched, you, you know, you, Rory touched on yesterday, which is the fact that when you look at what Myrtle, Arla, Myrtle Allen began here in 1964, and you see the fact that that philosophy has endured and what it has created, it shows, I think, that if you stay on message and you stick to your guns, in other words, if you have a philosophy Philosophy has become one of these things that we think belongs in universities. Philosophy doesn't belong in universities. It belongs in day-to-day -day work. And I think Myrtle Allen has always articulated a food philosophy that produces happy people, happy plants, happy animals, happy outcomes. And it's because she is the great philosopher. My own opinion about Myrtle is that she's actually the most important person in the history of uh, the Irish state. Quite simple. I know other people will say, oh, what about Dev or what about, forget it. Dev couldn't cook to save his life, <laughs> you know? What Myrtle has done, unlike what everybody else who has fiddled about with society and philosophy in Ireland, their gig never lasted. Myrtle Allen's gig continues to this day and gets bigger and nobody else has matched that achievement. Kamal Muzbak from Beirut, have you a thought after the weekend? You uh, spoke so beautifully and you inspired us about the, you know, your life, what happens in Beirut. After, has anything changed after being in Ireland? I don't want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to stay here. <laughs> That's so very nice. Uh, well, um, is Jadrina in the building yet? I can go ahead with that, Jadrina. I'm, I'm quite capable of doing this on my own. <laughs> anyway, she'll come racing in the door just when we're about to finish. While we're waiting just for Jadrina to arrive in, unless anybody else would like to say anything, because I have thank yous that I really need to say. Because at this stage of the weekend, as you can imagine, and I, 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 I hope I'm, I won't bore you, but it really is very important to thank everybody who's been involved, because this has been such... Um, it, you know, it's quite a mission to put a festival like this together. And I'll just go through uh, very quickly. Um, thank you, Eamon Spoons, for your little chat about the spoons and that really beautiful thing it is that you do and keep doing it. Um, uh, for the moderators on the stage here over the weekend, um, Ella McSweeney and Nicholas Lander, Mark Murphy and our great friend John McKenna, thank you all very much for the, your wonderful work. Um, for everybody at Ballymaloo House, um, led by Hazel and Fern and Sasha, thank you all for looking after all our guests this weekend and with such style and grace and doing the thing that Mrs. Allen, who's now entered the room, um, you, you know, continuing that tradition. Thank you all so much. Um, there isn't necessarily um, a sort of a rhyme or reason or pecking order to this list, so don't worry if you don't, don't sort of judge at what place you come in the list. Thank you to Iona, who helped to make our stage beautiful. Thank you, Iona. Thank you to Sam Leeson, one of the, Ted's wonderful team in the shed, who made what he calls a three-minute table, this table that, that we've used all weekend, which I think is really beautiful. Um, and uh, to everybody in the farm, um, led by uh, Darren Allen, you know, sterling work, endless work for the last few weeks, getting organized. And of course, to the grain store for Rory Allen and all his team. Uh, the bookshop, Toby, thank you very much indeed, um, all your wonderful team. And of course, uh, unfortunately, as always happens at the end of an event like this, um, all the incredible gang at the cookery school are still probably serving people food at the end of a demonstration. That's probably why Doreen isn't just here just yet. So um, I'm sure we, we will, uh, they will know that I'm sending my thanks to them with uh, great sincerity and thanks, and to the extraordinary team at the farm in the school. Uh, particularly a word of thanks to Holly. Holly is the farm manager 
there who, the word no does not exist in his vocabulary, which is really great when you're trying to uh, get things done. Oh, by the way, on the subject of, um, of Hawley and the farm, I went over to Hawley yesterday morning very early to get a chicken um, because we were having um, some of children from, some of you may have seen it from the... National School in Kilbehany came down to talk about how they like to keep chickens at their school. Anyway, I had the chicken in a cardboard box outside and there was holes in the box and it was all perfect. And I was walking around, this was about half six in the morning, I was walking around a half an hour later and I said, God, there's a chicken that looks exactly like the chicken that I have in the box over there. Well, as it turned out, it was the chicken. <laughs> and that chicken has, has since not been seen. But so anyway, there you go. Um, and of course, thank you to Tim and Drina at the cookery school as well. Um, thank you to Darcy at the Welcome content. Thank you, Darcy. Have an all weekend. Uh, thank you to Helena, uh, our volunteer um, coordinator, and thank you to all our wonderful volunteers, wherever you are. Thank you. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for your good humor, um, etc. Um, um, that brings me on to the um, uh, sort of the core team, if you like, although we're, we're all in this uh, mosh pit together. Um, thank you, Colm, for the wonderful drinks events you've put on in the drinks theatre um, all weekend. Congratulations and thank you. I don't know if Colm's in the room. And everything is fine because the DA has arrived. <laughs> um, thank you to Ted. Ted, Mr. Big Shed, fabulous Ted, sensational. And of course, all the wonderful crew down there, and a special mention, of course, for the Queens of Neon, um, and everybody helping them for all the fabulous, uh, the beautiful things that they do to make the experience for all of us and all of our guests special. Thank you to Host PR, our very, very good friends for looking after us so well. And as I said before, you feel more like family uh, than somebody uh, that we do business with. Uh, to, all the, yeah, to all the wonderful people. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. Orla, everybody. Um, all of the people cooking uh, in the stalls, providing the delicious food and the drinks. Thank you, everybody at the bar. Thank you, Seamus. Um, thank you to um, a new member who came on board at LitFest HQ this year, Lisa Moran. Are you in the room, Lisa? Yeah, just such good humor. Um, efficiency, everything we could have asked for, and bon voyage to New Zealand. I'm envious um, of your trip. And then the final person I would like to mention who has asked, uh, who I really liked to ask her to come up on the stage, but she's asked me not to ask her to come up on the stage, and I respect her, which is, is Rebecca Cronin, festival <laughs> director. <laughs> Rebecca is um, um, Rebecca is really extraordinary as I've said before she walks the tightrope that exists between Darina and I uh, with uh, no safety net underneath it and um, <laughs> can only end badly if you fall off that um, but um, thank you Rebecca that's Words fail me. Um, okay, that's, I hope, have you always forget to thank somebody. If there's somebody here I've forgotten to thank you, thank you. And I will give the final word to my sister, who is never speechless. Oh, oh. oh. oh well. My goodness, what an incredible weekend we've had. And it's, for, for me, actually, this weekend and often the Litfest weekend is immensely frustrating. We spend the whole year planning and, uh, you know, uh, being absolutely ecstatic because so many of our food heroes have said yes and they're going to come to the Litfest and uh, uh, entertain us and, uh, uh, you know, start wonderful conversations and inspire us and so on. And then it's just like a whole blur. I'm dashing one place to another and just barely managing to have a couple of minutes with so many of the people we look forward to seeing all year long. And uh, so thank you all for coming. Thank all of you for coming and participating in this Litfest. Some of you have come for the first time and others, you have been here every single year. But now I once again have 
um, the, the wonderful task and this of saying a deeply, deeply sincere thank you to our sponsors. And once again, to our festival sponsors, Kerry Gold, a huge and sincere thank you for your support and for <laughs> always being there. And we, as we said last night, we have enjoyed uh, working so much with each and every one of your team. As we have with Neff and Sodexo, who have been there since the very beginning, and Irish distillers, and Board Bia, who do so much for Ireland and for Irish food, and for spreading the word about what's happening here in Ireland and Irish food culture and the quality of our ingredients right across the world. You guys do such a great job, and thank you for what you do. Uh, also, a big thank you to Cully and Sully, uh, to Wiser Bins, thank you so much. Uh, for that was really, really important, uh, uh, the sponsorship from Wiser Bins as well, and I hope everybody uh, put their stuff in the right bins <laughs> over the weekend. <laughs> and uh, also, of course, to Ballymaloo Shop. Uh, so thank you, Wendy, and everybody at Ballymaloo Shop again. I want to also add my thanks to everybody here at Ballymaloo and at the Cookery School, and I know they are really ready to party in the big shed tonight. <laughs> they haven't stopped from some of the, uh, the, the wonderful team here and the staff were up at five in the morning, literally uh, starting to make sure that uh, you all, everybody had a wonderful time, which I, I certainly hope you did. So all I can say is that we, can you please take out your diaries and uh, put in the dates for next year? So 19 to the 21st of May, 2017, We'll see you here again. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, <laughs> huge thank you to all of you guys. Oh, come on, just stand up and take a bow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, we'll take a bow. Thank you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> and, and one big final hug for Rory.